Welcome to the show. I'm Zulina Maxwell. There is nothing more sacred in this country than the right to vote. The fight over who gets to exercise that right has been going on for a very long time. It was just over a century ago when white women in this country were granted the right to vote. And it wasn't until the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that members of my own family had full protection for the simple act of casting a ballot. In fact, if you look at my set here in the background, at the bottom right is a photo of my grandfather who marched in Selma. Fast forward to today when the governor of Florida signed a bill re restricting the right to vote on live TV in a Fox News exclusive. So right now I have what we think is the, the strongest election integrity measures in the country. I'm actually going to sign it right here. It's going to take effect. So there you go. Bill is signed. Friends, this isn't just voter suppression. It, this is voter suppression theater. And I say this as a person who hosts my own TV show. And, you know, I'm a little dramatic sometimes. But it's not just Florida. It's also Arizona, where Republicans are doing another audit of the 2020 election results in Mar Maricopa County. And apparently auditors are on the hunt for bamboo fibers and ballots to see if they were flown in from Asia. No, really, that's what they're doing. The other day at the press conference, you were talking about bamboo. What was that about? Well, is that there's accusations that 40,000 ballots were flown in. To Arizona? To Arizona, and it was stuffed into the box, okay? And it came from the southeast part of the world, Asia, okay? And, uh, and what they're doing is to find out if there's bamboo in the paper. That camera right there, that they take a picture of the ballot. So we have the voter suppression on Fox News and an exclusive happening in Florida. We have auditors looking for bamboo in the ballots in Arizona. And don't forget about Texas. Back in November, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick offered up $1 million of his own campaign funds to anyone who comes forward with information about voter fraud. Funny thing is, no money has changed hands. I wonder why that is especially since we just got a confession from a criminal sentence and a criminal sentence, excuse me, from someone in Pennsylvania who voted on behalf of his dead mama in last year's election. Why isn't the Texas reward money good for that one? Hmm, maybe because the man voted for Donald Trump. It does make the Texas lieutenant governor look like he's all talk and no money or maybe all hat and no cattle in this context. And if that story out of Pennsylvania sounds crazy, it might be because this sort of thing is incredibly rare. His case is one of only 16. The total is 16, one six across the entire country where someone faced criminal charges for voter fraud. That means one out of every 10 million ballots cast was suspicious. Those are good odds. Right now we have way more bills to make voting harder than cases in which people tried to cheat. Case in point, Texas Republicans are racing to pass a restrictive voting bill of their own. I wonder if the Texas governor will sign it on Fox News in an exclusive. It worked for Governor DeSantis. But seriously, what can be done about all of this madness? Well, the most obvious answer is federal legislation. H.R. 1, the For the People Act, and H.R. 4, the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, are in the Senate waiting for a vote or any kind of action at all. Republicans in the Senate are going to make it very difficult to get either of those bills passed. But we do seem to be reaching a boiling point here. And that isn't lost on the President of the United States. And if we truly want to restore... The soul of America, we need to protect the sacred right to vote. Most people. More people vote in the last presidential election than any time in American history. In the middle of the worst pandemic ever. It should be celebrated. Instead, it's being attacked. Congress should pass H.R. 1 and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and send it to my desk right away. 
The country supports it. And Congress should act now. Starting us off tonight is Manny Diaz. He is the chair of the Florida Democratic Party and the former mayor of Miami. Manny, what is your response to this new law signed today in Florida in the Fox News exclusive? Well, I'm, I'm disgusted and as concerned. I think this is extremely dangerous, as, as you have well pointed out. Uh, you know, our governor claimed that uh, he had many uh, policy successes during this uh, session that just ended. And, and actually, I think he meant pandering successes. He wouldn't know policy if it hit him in the forehead. Uh, you know, ironically, the laws that are being amended here, the election laws that are being amended in Florida, were put in place by Republicans because years ago, under Governor Bush, the absentee ballots, they were called at the time, actually always favored Republicans. So in effect, when I really drilled down this year and looked at what our, you know, our law, how our laws worked, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised to see that we were, you know, uh, processing ballots 22 days in advance. It was no longer an absentee where you had to have an excuse. It, you know, vote by mail was open to everybody. What we saw last year, and it was caused primarily by Trump's own, you know, rhetoric about, you know, don't, uh, you know, go to the polls. If you don't go to the polls, they're going to rig the elections and blah, blah, blah. That, that actually flips, you know, flipped things around. And now this year, the Democrats voted more in much greater numbers absentee than, than or vote by mail uh, than in person. And so now we have all these states trying to reverse what, in effect, they had created in Florida years ago. And, and it's extremely dangerous. The burden is That's on a, them. You know, oh. he, he, he had that press conference today in Palm Beach in November. He had a press conference yeah. also in Palm Beach where he said Florida did it right. I mean, they were, they were doing victory laps about how well the system worked in Florida. And all of a sudden, a few months later, here we are. It's, it's pathetic. It's such, a, it's such a good point you make about how traditionally Republicans are the ones that vote absentee, which is, we call it mail-in balloting now, but effectively it is the same thing. Do you think that these laws have the chance of hurting their own voters? I mean, what's ironic about some of these new restrictions is that they block access to everyone, not just Democrats. And in fact, a lot has been written about that because that was, and a lot of Republican operatives if you remember, we're very concerned when he kept saying that, you know, don't use mail because that's going to be fraud and this is going to be the biggest fraudulent election ever. Uh, and the Republican operatives who had built up this infrastructure of absentee ballot voting were very concerned because they were going to lose their base uh, of voters. So it'll be interesting to see next year in 22 what actually happens, whether we flip back uh, to, uh, to, to, to those days. But look, this is all, if you look at the legislative package this year, this is just one of them. We had an anti-protest bill. We had a number of other bills that had absolutely zero to do with fixing anything. Like you described it, it was all theater. Okay. It was all appealing to the Fox agenda. And by the way, it was all perpetuating the, the big lie that is master Donald Trump, who we now have as a Floridian. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, continues to perpetuate. And that's, that's all this about. When, when, you, when you're fixing something, it's because something is broke. Nothing is broke. In fact, that example that you mentioned, mm -hmm. the only case of fraud that, that, I, that I've been able to see here in Florida was actually committed by a couple of Republican operatives who, who, who paid, financed the campaigns of three phantom uh, candidates for, for state Senate so as, as, as independents so that they would take votes away from the Democrats. And in fact, one election was decided where the Democrat lost by 32 votes. And the, this independent ghost candidate got 6,000 votes with the same name, same last name. So if there was any fraud that we had here in Florida, it was, it was actually you know, perpetrated by a Republican, not by anybody else. What's funny about this is thinking about the fact that Donald Trump's probably going to vote by mail in 2022, <laughs> and yet sure. uh, they're passing all of these restrictions. Um, what's your message for the voters in the state of Florida? I mean, I think when you see headlines like this, it can be anxiety inducing um, to see that people are trying to put you know, obstacles in your way to be able to access the ballot box. What can voters do to ensure that their voices are heard and that their votes are counted? Well, we're going to step it up. We're going to message. We're going to knock on doors. We're going to make sure 
that those people aren't disenfranchised by this by this new law. And and voters, I think, you know, voters have to, you know, vote. I mean, speak with their vote and, and let people know that no, no matter what you do, too many people have fought hard, too many people have marched, too many people have given their life for this, for the ability to vote. That is the most sacred thing we have in America, right? Is our right to vote. And no one's going to take that yep. away from us. And I just, I don't think the Florida voters are going to let that happen. I think you're going to see very high turnouts again. And, um, and, you know, and then hopefully we'll start getting some Democrats in the Florida legislature who will reverse all these dr draconian practices that we're seeing now. Well, one of the lessons of the 2020 election is don't forget about the down ballot. It's very, very important. Uh, Manny Diaz, thank you so much for being here tonight and please stay safe. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.